Our lives are always changing and often in unexpected ways, but we are always able to adapt and move on relatively easily. That's not always the case for our canine companions, and it's an important factor to consider, especially if your living or family situation tends to change often. Today we're going to look at how adaptable the Doberman is and how well they might handle your life changes. Welcome back to the Doberman channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrikCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Doberman and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Doberman. So if you're a lifelong Doberman lover, you're thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Doberman, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Doberman video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a look at the adaptability of this regal breed. Our canine companions have little say in some of the changes that happen in our life, like having a baby, moving to a new home, or taking a job with longer working hours. We should of course consider the needs of our canines when making decisions that will impact them, but we're often put in those same situations at a moment's notice too. So how adaptable is the Doberman when it comes to the changes in our lives? Let's find out. We'll dive right in and look at a key factor in adaptability, energy. The Doberman reach a maturity around three years of age, and with their puppy and teenage years coming to a close, their energy level drops a bit. They are generally a pretty high energy breed, but they will range closer to very high energy for their first three years of life. They need several hours of exercise each day, so having a larger fenced yard and larger home is ideal. Should your home and yard decrease in size, then you're gonna have to be more creative and dedicated to working off their energy. This could mean more walks around the neighborhood or brain games in the home but you'll generally find the Doberman is quite happy as long as they are with you and their family. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free principles, principles to the perfect puppy course there'll be a link down in the description box below thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success so i can't wait to see you over there again there'll be a link in the description box below i'll see you on that course the Doberman is very trainable and willing to please their calm, consistent leader, which can come in handy when their life is uprooted. Obedience work is a great way to focus their mind and energy in new places where they need to ignore the new distractions. Remember your Doberman's ancestors were bred to be a dedicated protector in the home and around town, so they are quite fond of their routines and current living situation. Keeping their routines as familiar as possible will help them to transition into their new life, whether that be a new home, new baby, or less time with you. The Doberman is a devoted family canine that thrives when someone is with them, but they can learn to be okay alone. It's critical that you work on their confidence alone from an early age and build up the time they are left alone rather than jump straight in. Dobermans are capable and more than willing to destroy their kennel, chew any number of things, pace their paws raw, and other destructive behaviours when they aren't trained to accept being alone. Loads of exercise, bonding and crate training are going to be key in keeping your Doberman from developing separation anxiety since they bond especially closely with a single family member. Since you never know when you might suddenly start working more or be home later, it's crucial that you teach this acceptance early on and keep this training maintained throughout the life of your Doberman. It will make many life changes easier for both your canine and you to adapt to at a moment's notice. Dobermans are incredibly devoted and affectionate with their family and more so to one particular person. So changes in their life that result in less time with you or the rest of the family are going to be the hardest for them to adjust to. If you've taken a job with longer hours and you don't have a family member that can be there, you'll need to work extra hard when exercising and bonding with them in the morning and the evening. If you or someone your Doberman trusts can be there for an hour or two in the middle of the day to give them some extra exercise and company, then they'll adapt much more easily. As with most things, it's easiest to make the adjustment in stages if possible and get creative when making accommodation if it's not. Keep in mind that if you know a life change that will directly impact the amount of time that you can spend with your Doberman is coming, start adjusting to the new routine as early as possible. Overall, the Doberman isn't the most adaptable, so you'll want to train them in and for a variety of situations since it's impossible to know what changes you'll experience in their life. Separation anxiety and exercise are going to be two of your biggest factors when considering the overall adaptability of the Doberman, so start working on those early early and then often throughout their life to make changes as easy on them and you as possible. If you enjoyed today's video and if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Doberman videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Doberman channel.